Mindset, motivation, and action. Happy National Entrepreneurship Month, students. I am Stacy Perkins with Legacy Education Alliance, and I'm very happy to bring you this month's edition of Legacy Connection. Your connection to Legacy's most shared and engaging content for the month, spanning from real estate and foreclosure investment to financial markets, currency, and business training around the globe. Designated in 2012 by Barack Obama, the month of November recognizes entrepreneurs as the fuel of American progress, who serve our communities and bolster the economy, and it is you, the entrepreneur, who we will be discussing in this month's issue. Specifically, the entrepreneur's mindset, the entrepreneur's motivation, and the concept of taking action. Mindset. How exactly does one develop a positive mindset that will foster an entrepreneurial spirit? One argument for achieving this would be to switch from a scarcity mindset to an abundance mindset. Don't be afraid of falling, but rather take a step outside of your comfort zone and welcome failure as a learning opportunity. Don't be afraid of how people will perceive you. In fact, set goals for yourself so grand that small-minded people laugh because they cannot conceive the idea for themselves. View every challenge as an opportunity rather than a roadblock and always surround yourself with people whom you can learn from. Last and certainly not least, believe in yourself. Motivation. Psychology Today describes motivation as the difference between waking up before dawn to pound the pavement and lazing around all day. So how does one tackle the dawn and stay motivated through the tough times? Well, for one, it's helpful to seek your why. Why are you spending time on a particular activity? Is it because it may lead you to further opportunities or financial benefits? Beyond this, it's also important to see, hear, and speak your motivation. Feed your mind with inspiring stories to keep you on track and speak in positive terms that reinforce your endeavor. Okay, so we found the correct mindset and we're motivated to get started. How do we take the first step? Taking action. I would now like to invite Legacy Education CEO, Anthony Humpage, to discuss this. Anthony? Okay. Why don't we do this? Take action, do something. But why don't we? Because we know we should. If we're honest, the answer is fear at the end of the day. All right, now if you're the sort of person and I see you in my rooms around the world. If you're the sort of person who has the passion to reach for the moon, resolutely take committed action, I salute you, while hoping you're still not reckless in your pursuits. But if you aren't like that, it's okay too. Why don't we start with small steps every day to move us towards our goal? Over time, this builds real momentum. Remember Isaac Newton's example? Accelerated motion, okay? Second, just remember, even if we're afraid to do something, once we do it enough times, we're not fearful of it anymore, and frankly, it becomes a habit. Thanks for listening and watching. This is Anthony Humpage. Thank you, Anthony. I'd like to leave you now with an inspirational quote that we recently shared on our social media by Michael John Boback. All progress takes place outside of the comfort zone. Develop your mindset, find your motivation, get uncomfortable, and be embarrassed. You'll be happy you did. I'm Stacy Perkins with Legacy Education Alliance. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time on Legacy Connection.